Oh, Michael, he is honestly one of the most genuine people that I have met, and um, I, I was wrong. So the next person that's coming up, I was also wrong about. So my brother-in-law, who lives out in um, Oregon, he goes, hey, do you know this gal named Gogo? And I'm like, no. And he sends it to me. And now, again, are we judgmental, all of us? Do we make judgment calls right away? So Keep her name out of your mouth. What are you talking about? Yeah, I hear where you're going with this. So anyways, I get this profile, and here's Gogo, like, oh, Gogo. Hey, hey, hey. keep it, her name out your mouth. So yeah, so I'm like, why is my brother-in-law sending me this profile, okay. Gogo? Right. No. And, no. And I was no. a little bit disturbed. I told you. Keep her name out your mouth. <laughs> you, get, you guys get the reference, right? Chris Rock, Will Smith. Some of you will go Google it when you go home. It'll make sense. But for real, when, it, when he, my brother-in-law sent me Gogo's profile, I w judged a little bit. Anybody else ever judge a book by its cover? And so yet what I did was I kind of went down the Instagram bunny trail, and I started to... Pay attention, and I actually have tattooed right here, 50, 20, 5, 1. See, what Gogo is awesome at is getting eyeballs on her, so that's the 50. You want to get in front of 50 people a day, and even though my first experience was negative, I knew of her. And the more I started to see her, the more I started to like her, and the more I started to understand, she's really smart. Not only is she really smart, she outworks myself Kurt combined. So I started paying more and more attention, and then I ended up seeing her in a hotel lobby. And, and I probably wasn't very nice because I hate when people do this. And I'm like, go, go. And she's like, <laughs> I was like, you don't know me. And, and, and ever since then, um, we've just kind of had fun together. How many of us need to have more fun in life? I mean, doesn't adulting suck sometimes? So fast forward, I want to brag on one more thing. Um, the alphas, we're both fortunate enough to be in the alpha group, which means you have more than 1,000 people. One thing I love about this company is if you see a problem, rather than saying, we need to do this, you do something about it. Well, one of the challenges with the alphas was it seemed like every time we were getting together, it was because we were trying to protect someone within our rev share line. And oftentimes, our first meeting was of conflict. So I saw an issue, and with Jesse Zerkowski and Tina Call, we decided to do an Alpha One retreat where we took 30, I think we had 25-ish, 25 to 30 of us on our own dime, all came and rented a big house in Orlando, and we spent three or four nights together. Who thinks that we were able to bond as human beings there? Now think about that. We came together as leaders because we knew if we were together as leaders, we could help the rest of us at a higher level. So when we came there, we all came and we collaborated, another one of our core values. And Gogo opened up all, I almost, <laughs> I got to be careful on how I say this. She opened up her back end, sir, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she opened up, what am I trying to say here? She opened up all of, her, all of um, what she does with her funnels and everything else. And she shared everything. Now here's what happened was, she showed everything, and when she was doing it, all of our jaws just kind of dropped. Not only is she smart, not only does she work hard, the systems that she's put together, I don't know that I've ever seen something so powerful as far as systematic and leverage and everything else. And can you see how much I just absolutely adore my friend Gogo? When I grow up, I want to be more like Gogo, so let's welcome her to the stage. Give her a big round of applause. So what he's talking about, he's talking about the Team Gogo that Team Hub that we had built for our Team Gogo organization that today is over a thousand, hey Mark, I haven't seen you today, over a thousand and sixty-two agents. EXP has changed my life. I feel like it is my duty, not I feel like, it is my duty to change other agents' life because I know I can. I know we are the company that can change everybody else's life and when you know of the gold. You need to share that. So today, I'm actually here to not talk about production. 
but to talk about agent attraction. I am very proud to say that I have personally brought over 240 agents in my front line and my husband's front line. Thank you. <laughs> Many of whom are here. Can you stand up if you're team GoGo? We have quite a lot. Look at it, and they're sitting next to each other. You love that? That's when you build a tribe. <laughs> Carrie, I don't know what happened to you in that lane. <laughs> That's when you build a tribe. We actually call ourselves the Team GoGo, thank you, the Team GoGo International Family of Agents. Because we are a family and because we are international. We are in 46 different states and in six different countries. I cannot take credit for all of that because um, the way family grows, right? We all have a cousin that has real estate license. <laughs> and that's pretty much how the 240 grew into 1,000. But I want to share a fun story with you guys. I'm actually very lucky. To, to be able to say that Kurt Shewell, where are you? He went to the right there, coming back from the bathroom. He is my daddy at EXP. Oh. Hi, Kurt. <laughs> and he is one of the best sponsors that an agent can have. So when I joined EXP, I'm going to share a fun story, Kurt, right? That's costed you a lot of money. Um, so when I joined DXP, I said, number one, I would have not joined unless everything made sense and I could have made more money here than anywhere else, right? But also, I'll be proud to say, and the first one to say it, I did join for one of the reasons. I had three reasons. A, the ability to, the ability to earn my cap back. B, to have ownership without having to invest a quarter of a million dollars, right? And, and three, to be able to grow nationally and internationally and take advantage of agent attraction and rep share. So when I joined, I told Kurt, I am going to bring 100 agents. And Kurt said, mind you, at that time, nobody has brought 100 agents to the company. So Kurt says, OK, when you do that, I'll buy you a Rolex. <laughs> so maybe, maybe Kurt can explain to you later, how was that conversation with Sherry? that he had to buy a Rolex to another woman before he bought his own wife a Rolex, <laughs> OK? So are you guys interested about agent attraction? And would you like to know my 10 tips? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do that. I don't know if you guys have the 10 tips, if you guys can share that slide very quick. I'm going to break that. There's a clicker? OK. There we go. So I'm going to break this down furthermore. But can I please have my water? I am sorry to ask for that. But last week, I was on a cruise, and I got sicker than a dog. And a side effect of the medication they gave me is that I have dry mouth and I can't even right now. I need to take a sip of water. Sorry. Thank you so much. OK. So number one, do not be a secret agent. And what we mean by that is you have to be an option. To be an option, you have to exist. To exist, there are these things called TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. You name it, pick one or pick them all. I like to pick them all and be present on them. Now, in my case, I use Instagram as my homepage, and I have a virtual assistant, my social media assistant, and she takes whatever I post on Instagram and plasters it everywhere else. I do want you to be everywhere else. You do not have to do the work. In, in order not to be a secret agent, you have to be proud that you're an EXP agent. When you go to my profile, it says, with nice big letters brokered by EXP. Why? A, because I'm proud EXP changed my life, but B, because I want everybody and their mother, when they find their way to my profile, to know I am an option to talk to about EXP. OK? Number two, on your profile, I want you to not have things like you're a foodie, and you love yoga, and you love to travel. Because I love yoga, and I'm a foodie, and I love to travel. But I take my business very seriously. So if you want people to take you seriously, you have to take your business seriously. So I don't want to see anything else on your real estate profile than real estate. OK? Um, on your profile, your name, what you do, which is a realtor, where you do it is the area that you cover, and how they can get a hold of you. Those four things your profile has to answer. So your contact button has to have the number that you actually answer. Okay? Now, number two, don't sell your brokerage, sell your successes. Number one, within that section, you have to create a video that's called Why I Joined EXP. Shoot that video horizontally and post, post it on YouTube. Because what, guess what's going to happen when somebody's starting doing their research about EXP? They're going to go to YouTube, and they're going to watch every video, and they're going to get to the end of YouTube. Again, you want to be an option. In that video, you want to start talking about who you are, because people don't join brokerages, they join people. So they need to understand who you are and why on earth they should partner with you. So now I don't want you to go back to uh, 
Well, when I was a child, <laughs> nobody has time for that, right? But start enough early enough in your career that shows you your character, shows you what you went through life, so they can find something in common with you. Sometimes I have people talk to me about EXP because I have a type 1 diabetic child. Sometimes they talk to me about EXP because I'm a foreigner. Sometimes they talk to me about EXP because whatever they find in common with me. In order for them to find in com something in common with you, you have to allow them to get to know you. So in your EXP video, I want you to share a little bit about yourself and your past, right? And then go into the three reasons of why you joined the company. My three reasons, one's number one, the ability to earn my care back. Number two, to have ownership in a company. And number three, to be able to grow a company that I love and it changed my life and to be able to grow it internationally, okay? Facts tell, stories sell. Don't go on Instagram and be like, I joined EXP and I want you to join EXP because you can icon. Okay, what is icon? I don't know, right? Instead of doing things like that, I want you to share stories. If there is someone that you brought already to the company, maybe you haven't brought them, who cares? There's an icon that you know of who maybe never even capped at a previous brokerage, but now it's an icon agent at EXP. Share that story. Because people will remember a story, but they will not remember facts. FOMO. Why do you think every day of, <laughs> every day, oh gosh, I wish I posted once a day. Um, every minute of the day, I am pretty much on social media. Because I want to be able to capture the life that this company has given me. And through those experiences, you get to see my growth. And if they followed me, or if you followed me long enough, you have seen how you go from broke to a multimillionaire. And by doing that, you create what's called FOMO, the fear of missing out. But in order to do that, you have to allow them to get to see your life and to get to see it in action. So make sure that you take plenty of videos of yourself. Say no to good things so you can say yes to great things because the enemy of good is not bad. The enemy of good is great. How many times you have heard from an agent, but I have it so good? You know what I say to that? But you could have it great. There is your number one objection handler right there, write it down. Um, so what I mean by that is also where you spend your time. If you jump on every shiny object and if you spend your time on everything that's maybe a good idea, it removes all your time to be left for the great ideas. So you have to guard your calendar. The next one, dare to be rare. Do you feel like you know me? If you follow me, if you don't, do you feel like you know me? Hopefully you say yes. Is everybody alive? Okay, good. Not sleeping? Okay, good. The reason why I feel like the, one of the reasons to my success because is I am as real, I am as the same person online as I am in person. When you decide to do social media, <laughs> you better to be doing the good, the truth, and the truth all the time, right? Good, bad, and the ugly, and the truth. The truth all the time because the truth will come to surface. And when you are yourself, as Brent Gove says it, when you are rare, right, you are yourself. We are, did you know that there is not one fingerprint in the history of mankind that was the same? So if you don't know that you're rare, right, that, that thing alone will tell you. Also, not one snowflake is the same. If you look at a snow, no, snowflake under a microscope, they are different. God has created every single one of us. You have skills and I don't. I have skills that you don't. So because of that, I have my people and you have yours. The person who will join with me will never join with you. And the person who will join with you will never join with me. So as long as you know that you are rare, and as long as you know what Brent Gove says, that I am looking for the people who are looking for me, by allowing them to get to know you, you will find your tribe. So stay rare. Everyone is gettable. I was one of those agents. Then I said, I will never join EXP. I had about 42 different agents hijack lunches, try to get me to a meeting. Next thing I know, I'm in an EXP pitch, right? And not until Kurt was able to explain it in a way that I needed to hear it, then I am here today. So that agent, and write that name down right now. Write that agent's name down that you're thinking they will never join. Aaron Brown, you're not writing. 
you're thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to know that your list, everybody's about to join EXP. I love to hear that. But no, seriously, write it down and then go get them. They might not join right now, but everybody's gettable, and it's only a matter of time when their broker is going to piss them off. The next one, and that's your end. Uh, the next one is your wild chart. If you don't track it, you can't grow it. So there is a wild chart. I want you to download it. Um, you can go to my profile. So go to gogobatki.com and go to the links and pretty much everything I'm talking about today, you can find it there for free. Um, download the wild chart and then write down those names and then grow it. I took my wild chart to Staples. I got like one of those cardboard things laminated. I want you to laminate it because the truth is some of your agents are going to leave. If they joined you for a shiny object syndrome, they are going to leave you for a shiny object syndrome. And there's going to be some spots that you're going to have to be um, refilling there. So make sure it's, it's, you can clean it up. Number three, what gets celebrated gets duplicated. So when you build your organization or downline or tribe or whatever you like to call it, right, you have to celebrate those agents. One of the downfalls of EXP is that we don't necessarily have that physical connection with each other. I can't have the July birthdays and let's have a potluck in the office. A, I don't have an office thanks to EXP. Um, actually, I do. It's right here. Um, so because I can't have physical locations, um, I want you to be able to celebrate your agents because they need to feel the love. Everybody needs the, the uh, recognition. They need to know that their hard work is recognized and it's celebrated because what gets celebrated gets duplicated. So when you celebrate their um, production, they do more. When you celebrate their agent attraction, they do more. So the way we celebrate in the Team Gogo organization, we introduce our agents. Um, that's very important because monkey does monkey do. So if Jessica joined you, Jessica has a best friend, Kevin. Kevin says, oh, hold on a minute, Jessica joined you, I'm gonna join you too, right? Um, the next thing is that you want to brag. When you introduce an agent, right, you can take their accolades and their caliber, there's gonna be like, oh, hold on a minute, they did 24 million last year and they joined Gogo. I did 24 million this year, I'm gonna join Gogo, right? Then you're going to tag location. Why? Because there might be agents in that area that follow that location, they don't follow you, they're going to see your post. So now you're gonna get other agents joining from that area as well. And then we celebrate birthdays. When my agents sign up on my application for, I have a two-step process I'm going to explain later. When they sign up on that application form, I ask all kinds of questions. I ask what area they're covered, are they an agent or a broker? Because I need to know that, because I know being a broker, it's a little bit longer onboarding process than an agent. I ask for their physical location, because in order for me to celebrate them, I have to be able to send them a gift. Well, that gift has to be shipped somewhere. I ask for their birthdays, why? Because I like to torture my frontline agents and I call them when it's their birthday, every single one of you can tell you, and I will sing you happy birthday. Even to the ones who don't celebrate birthdays, Sotero, right? Um, because I still celebrate him. He doesn't celebrate birthdays, but I do. And I take business uh, partnerships very seriously, so I did call him and torture him for his birthday. Um, icon agents, they have to be celebrated, top 6% in the country, right? So not only do we send them an icon mug, we also design an icon image, we plaster it everywhere, we tag them. When we tag them, they're going to share it with everyone, right? Everybody else is going to see it. We celebrate our top producer and top agent attractor every single month. So in Team Gogo, we look at the production numbers every single month. It does take my VA about three days. Michael Well does with the current system, so if we could work on that, that would be great. Um, if I could see who is my top producer without having to run those numbers for three days, that would be great. I would appreciate it so much. Um, and then top agent, a little wink, wink right there for corporate. And then the top agent attractors every single month, whoever brought the most agents, we celebrate them. And they get a, a mug that says Team Gogo top agent attractor, Team Gogo top producer. So number one, if your team doesn't have, your downline doesn't have a name, it has to have a name. People need to belong to a community. Number four, tools for attraction. And how do I do on time? Because I don't see the time on the screen. Oh, 131, okay, woo, very slow, okay. Can I borrow 10 more minutes from somebody else? Okay, tools for attraction. Have your own website. If you don't have one, you can go to mine. So if you go to gogobatki.work, not gogobatki.com, go to gogobatki.work, go to the very bottom of that page, and then click the button that says I want a page like this. Guys, it's 20 bucks. If you can afford 20 bucks, then skip Starbucks for about two days. 
right? You can do that. The next one, CRM Grow. CRM Grow allows you to track. I'm a huge tracker. I'm the numbers nerd, right? My trackers have trackers. In CRM Grow, you, you can upload a video or you can use their nine-minute video about EXP, which, is, which I think is one of the best nine-minute, I mean, I couldn't explain EXP in nine minutes. I think they did a ph phenomenal job, but it tracks which means if anybody's watching it, I know who's watching it because I know their name, email address, and phone number. Even if they don't jump into my calendar, I can now reach out to them because I know who they are. The next one is the pink sheet. What I call the pink sheet is my step one of the onboarding process when someone decides to join with me. It's a Google document. That's where we have all of those basic questions. You can go to my website, gogobetkey.com forward slash partner. Go to my step one and pretty much just copy it and create a Google document so you have your agent's information so you can celebrate your agents. Why I switch to EXP video, we talked about that. When you have your team name, when you have your downline name, your organization name, I need you to create a Facebook group for it. Again, your agent needs to belong. When you have announcements, you need to have one place where you can make it all happen. The next one is a Calendly link. Raise your hand if you have a Let's Talk EXP Calendly link. I could jump into your calendar right now and talk to you about EXP. The back of the room Okay, the front of the room, um, it clearly uh, doesn't have one, so get on it. Very simple, go to Calendly.com. On Calendly, you can create appointments for absolutely anything. You can say, I do EXP calls every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from five to seven, I don't care. You get to pick it, you get to pick it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour, depending how long you think you need to explain EXP, but have a link. Because if, what if I raise my hand right now and I said, Mona, 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 I want to talk to you about EXP. Where would you send me? <laughs> to Kurt. <laughs> right? But you don't want me to sign up with Kurt. You want me to sign up with you. Right? So you need to have a link. And I'm not going to do a back and forth half an hour of like, are you available Tuesday at 1? No, how about now? Oh, no, I can't. Right? You have to have a calendar link so someone can jump right into your calendar. Um, how to attract number five. Let's talk EXP calls. We just talked about that through the calendar link. The three-way calls is myself. So some agents feel comfortable um, inviting. They don't feel comfortable explaining. And that's fine. I feel totally comfortable explaining the EXP model. So I do three-way calls for my downline. Again, I have a calendar link for that. So if somebody has an agent that they already talked to and they lay the foundation about EXP and they just have specific questions, maybe they want to run the numbers and know exactly what it would be like if they were here. That's what I do the three-way call for. So if you're a Team GoGo agent, there's a three-way call calendar on teamgogo.team. Um, why not EXP weekly presentation? We do a why not EXP. It's a play on word. We call it wine, not EXP because I drink wine while I'm presenting, right? So every Wednesday night, we also have our generals in the Team GoGo organization. Generals are agents who have brought at least five agents to the Team GoGo organization, and now they are so kind and they help me because I've been pulling my weight for the last three years. Now they're all filling in, and every Wednesday and Thursday night, we do an EXP Explained. So the whole Team GoGo organization can bring an agent or two or three to the presentation, and somebody is presenting and then the EXP agent, the Team GoGo agent gets to sign them up. Uh, the next thing, networking, break bread, meaning don't ever eat alone. You're going to go for lunch, right? You're going to go for dinner, for breakfast, have coffee. Invite another agent or buyers and sellers in other case. But in this case, invite an agent. The next one, go to events, events like this. You're going to learn and go home with something that you did not know today. And when you go to events, if you can invite a guest, invite a guest, because big decisions are make at, made at big events. There is no way after they see us and after they experience our community that they are not going to want to be a part of it. The next one, um, you can join real estate Facebook groups. Do not... Um, try to recruit in the groups because they're going to throw you out. But you can form relationships in those groups and then take that conversation private. Uh, and then give before you take. If you see on my Instagram account or Facebook or YouTube, I have given and given and given and given until you go blue in the face, you probably can't get to the end of it because I understand how life works. The more you give, the more you get. It's truly that simple. Um, can I finish my thoughts? I know I'm going through it. Uh, thank you. Um, Number, number seven, you must know their numbers. And what I mean by their numbers is that when you talk to a Keller agent and you ask their cap, they're going to be like, it's 18,000. They're going to forget to mention what they call a royalty fee for additional $3,000 because they have been drinking the Kool-Aid, including myself, for a period of time, right, where it's almost their honor to pay that. So they just totally forget about that 3000 Well, if you don't know what to do with $3,000, I'll give you my Venmo, as Michael said, right? You can send it to me. 
I can invest it. Thank you so much, right? So I want you to learn other brokerages' numbers so you can beat them with their own numbers. And in order to do that, invite a couple of cattle agents out for lunch and ask them about their cap and cut and the structure so you can be up to date. But also ask a Coldwell banker and a Century 21 and a Remax and all of those other local brokerages here locally so you get to know your competition. Um, be comfortable with asking the uncomfortable questions. Meaning, when I'm on a call with somebody, trust me, I'm going to ask you, how many transactions did you have last year? Where are those transactions coming from? What is your average price range? Do you charge 2.5%, 3%? What's the average? So I can calculate your average commission. If I can calculate your average commission, I can calculate about two seconds how many transactions is going to take you to ICANN. Now I know, am I talking to someone who is at 24 deals and is going to take him 27 to ICON? Because I can, if I cannot make somebody do three more transactions than they did before, then I should just get out of the business altogether. The next one, no, you have to know the model. You're not all going to know. I didn't know day one. You think when I joined EXP, they were like, oh, you know what, Gogo? We're going to give you a special SOP. You're going to have every step of the process, very unique, just for you. No, nobody does. Right? I still don't know every question to every, uh, or every answer to every question about EXP, but by getting into the rat race, when people asking you those questions, if you don't know it, you have six business partners. As I'd like to say, when you joined, you chose your sponsor, who, joined, who, who uh, chose their sponsor, chose their sponsor, chose their sponsor. So as I like to joke and say it, you bought one, you got six free. Okay? You have all kinds of business partners to go to them with your questions. The next one, the trackers. I have a greatness tracker. I have a revenue share tracker and I have a wild chart. All of those are free. If you go to gogobatki.com to go to the links, go in there. You can also go to my YouTube channel and I have a training on a greatness tracker so you guys can get that and see where are you actually spending your time. If you're serious about agent attraction and if you don't have the results, if you do the greatness tracker for a month, you will know exactly what you are not doing. It's going to stare you right in the face. Uh, number nine, videos. Show them the good, the bad, and the ugly. And by ugly, I mean I didn't have a front tooth for eight months, two years ago. Yes, this is an implant. And it uh, broke while I was eating a sandwich. And then I realized I don't have bone in there, so it's hard to put an implant when there's nothing to hold it up. So I had to have bone graft, and that had to heal for four months, to have an implant to heal for four months. So for eight months, I didn't have a front tooth. I did have a pity party for about three days, and then I said, well... This is what God gave me. We're going to rock it, and we're going to make the best of it. So don't just share the good, because there are bad days in real estate. Not every day is sunny and 75. Um, the next one, allow people to really get to know you. When you allow them to get to know you, they will love you. When they love you, they will trust you. And when they trust you, they will buy whatever you're selling. I feel like if I started selling yoga pants tomorrow, they would buy them. Because I have never lied to my audience. It's always the truth and nothing but the truth. And the number 10, if you can't imagine it, you can't have it. You're not ready to receive it. If your brain can't even go to that point, you're not ready to receive it. So what I want you all to do, we're going to do a two-minute exercise. Stand up, please. Don't let my Eastern European just boss you around. OK. Now, in order for this to work, you kind of have to at least have a goal. If you don't have an agent attraction goal, or if you don't have a goal, period, we all have an internal GPS. Your internal GPS will guide you and take you wherever you want to go. What happens when you get into the car? You have to enter an address into the GPS, correct? Your GPS is not smart enough to take you there. It knows where you're at through the satellite. You know where you're at, and I hope you're honest to yourself of where you are in your life and career. The question is, where are you going? And I also have a rule for that. You can absolutely never, ever, ever have a plan B. It's a plan A only. If you have a plan B and you say, you know what, I would like to, um, I know I'm here. I have two agents. I would like to have 14 agents by the end of the year. I know it's a hefty goal. But if I do like... 10, I'll be fine. So your internal GPS says, do you freaking want 10 or do you want 14? Do you want to go 123 Main Street in Brighton, Michigan, or do you want to go, I don't know, Santa Monica, California? Your GPS can possibly take you to two directions. So plan A only. So now that you know where you're at, which is the satellite, right? Now you know where you're going. 
hopefully you at least took the time to figure out where are you going in agent attraction. So could you imagine what it would be like if your mortgage is paid for? Because that's what I wanted first. I was like, if EXP would just pay my mortgage, that would be so cool. Mind you, uh, in my Michigan house, my mortgage payment is $1,152. It wasn't a big goal, right? But imagine if your mortgage is paid for. And then the very first um, rev share that I got, it was $1,432. It was pretty much almost paid for. And then the next month, I was like, okay, what if they pay my mortgage and they pay my insurance? And then they pay mortgage insurance and Netflix. And mortgage insurance and Netflix. And, you know, it goes on and on and on and it grows. So I want you to, and your goal will always change too. It will change. You have to set your goal, not only what you want, but you also have to give it an end date. So I want you to tell yourself, your brain, what type of agent attraction goal you have and what you are going to achieve by December 31st of 2023. We are not imagining the oceanfront property. That's what I imagine now, right? Um, but imagine something reasonable. You know yourself, and you know your work ethic. And your end result is going to equal your work ethic. It's not going to show up magically. You're actually going to have to pull your weight. Okay? So now close your eyes. We are in March, hopefully. We are dreaming of what we are going to achieve on this, by December 31st when it comes to agent attraction. Now, I like to do my goals tied to a number. And then I like to do what's called a reverse engineering. Meaning, I know what the end result. What is it? What do I need to do in a month? What do I need to do in a week? What do I need to do today to reach that? So what is that revenue share number? Revenue share, by the way, hits your account towards the 20th or so every single month. It is real money, guys. It shows up in your bank account. And I look at my husband every time it does, and I'm like, honey, somebody put money in our bank account. And I'm not going to tell him. That's literally how it feels. I hope your eyes are still closed, because mine are. What is that number that you know you will do? You set that goal by December 31st, 2023. Bless you. Can you imagine it? If you can't imagine it, you can't have it. So let's try again. What is that number? A ref share. Is it your mortgage payment? Is it your mortgage payment and $500 towards your children's Roth IRA? Is it investment? You have that number? Now when you are done, I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. Open your eyes. Write it down on the piece of paper in front of you and carry it with you everywhere that you go. And you have to honor that. Because if you can imagine that, you can have it. You remember what I said earlier? God created you. God created all of us. And last I checked, God doesn't make mistakes. That number that's in your head, you already have all the skills to make it a reality. I don't know if you have the work ethic. Thank you so much. Was I right? Is she awesome or what? Man, oh man.